Do you want to turn $10 into $100 just like I did? Of course you do. So sign up for prize picks using my code NBA Goober for a 100% deposit match up to $100. You deposit 20 bucks, they give you another 20 bucks. So you have 40 bucks. Quick math. Link is in the description. Sup dude, about a week ago, I was playing 2K with my good old buddy Caleb. He was the Trailblazers, I was the Pelicans. We were having a lovely time. At some point during the game, I scored a tough bucket with Zion, and the announcer called him something that completely blew my mind. It was one of the hardest nicknames I had ever heard. The announcer called Zion a rhino with a jetpack. After hearing that, my jaw hit the floor, I sharded my pants, and I immediately knew that I had to make a video on the man with the big room. So that's what this is. Hope you enjoy. Mr. Jetpack Rhino is currently the talk of the town. He's pushed himself into MVP consideration with his excellent play and team success. I'm recording this on the 14th, so I won't be able to account for the Jazz and Suns game, but excluding those two, the Pelicans are 8-2 and two in their last 10 games, and Zion is averaging 28 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists, with a true shooting percentage of 69.7. Haha. Ha. 69. The dude is built like a brick shit house. It's been extremely hard for opposing players to stop all that meat from penetrating the hole. Kendrick Perkins called him the Giannis of the West, and to be honest, it's a pretty good comparison. Giannis dominates with his freak athleticism and size, while Zion does the exact same thing. They're both also leading their teams to the top of their respective conferences. Conference. Conferences? Whatever. I'm very happy to see Zion playing this well because injuries have fucked him over so far in his career and he also just seems like a really nice dude, so I want to see him play well. Alright, now I want to talk about something that really pisses me off. That something is the stupid fucking unwritten rule of the NBA. This was showcased in that one game where Zion threw down a sick ass 360 windmill while being up 9. After he did that, the Suns acted like little crybabies and that just put a bad taste in my mouth. This is the NBA for crying out loud. There shouldn't be any type of mercy. Dudes are supposed to go out there and stomp on the other team's fucking neck until the clock hits zero, not caring if they hurt anyone's feelings. I fully support Zion's decision to throw that slamma jamma down. If the Suns really didn't want that to happen, they should have played better. Another thing about the unwritten rule I don't like is it doesn't let the end of the bench guys showcase their abilities. Let's say I was an NBA player who doesn't really get to play, and my coach decides to sub me in during a blowout with 20 seconds left on the clock. If I get the ball, I'm gonna run that score up even more, cause that's one of the few opportunities I have to do so. To hell with the other team's feelings. Anywho, back to Zion. I've been really impressed with how good of a playmaker he's been so far. The fact that this huge man beast is getting pretty damn good at finding his teammates is a bit scary. It gets even more scary when you see big fella handle the rock. He's smooth with it. He's got the ability to yank down a rebound and take it coast to coast with ease. The Pelicans have a secret weapon in Point Zion. Chunky moves way too quick for his size. It shouldn't be legal for him to move like that. I mean, fuck, he's 284 pounds running like a gazelle. I'm 195 pounds and I can't run 10 yards without shitting blood. Thanos has also improved his defense quite a bit. He holds the 15th best defensive rating in the league and he's gotten pretty good at racking up steals with 16 in his last 10 games. Safe to say Zion be giving out that good D. The amount of hype Zion had coming into the league was bonkers. Definitely not as much hype as Victor though. Fuck that kid. Anyway, it's cool to see Zion become the player everyone was so excited to see. If he keeps playing at the level he's currently playing at, the league is in trouble. I think the Pelicans are definitely going to be a top team in the West by the end of the season barring any major injuries. The talent on their squad is crazy. They got their superstar in Zion, two all-star caliber players in CJ and Brandon. CJ has been kind of shitty so far, but hopefully he starts hitting his shots. Um, a bunch of really solid role players in Valanchunas, Alvarado, Larry Nance, Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, holy shit, they're stacked. Yeah, safe to say Zion and the Pelicans are uh, really good, um, good at basketball. If any of y'all watch 2K YouTubers like Kenny, it's kind of funny to see the Pelicans being really good like they always are in the 2K sim. Click here to watch my last video, it's about the Celtics, I think you'll love it. Um, thanks for watching, bye dude.